Survival games take quite a few brain cells to put together, which also means the majority cost an arm and a leg to buy. So I found 10 of the best survival games that are actually free. Number 10, Deathly Stillness. This game looks beautiful, and it would be number one if it just had more guns, character customization, an actual plot or storyline, more than one developer, and lasted more than, say, 30 minutes. But there are jiggle physics. Yeah. <sighs> It's definitely a well-made game, and an impressive one considering it's created by only one guy, but it is literally just a third-person shooter where you kill zombies in different environments. That's it. Number 9, Zombie Carnage 2. An absolute shitfest of zombies and humans. You play with 32 other people in a world where you're either a zombie or a z where you're either human or a zombie, and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. The more infections or kills you get, the more equipment you unlock, and this game is just sweaty. It's more competitive than it is actually like survival, but you get the gist. Oh, there is a review that reports they saw admins literally cheat in-game by exploiting glitches, which is honestly pretty funny. And apparently people are also getting permanently banned without the option to appeal, but apart from that, it's a good game. Number 8, Eternal Return. I'll be honest, this is only here to satisfy the top-down fiends, okay? Don't come for me. But it is actually a sick game as well. It's all about combat, crafting, and obviously surviving against other players. It's pretty much a MOBA mixed with a battle royale with a pinch of survival. But this game has its issues. The player base is almost too low to really get the proper experience since a game actually takes ages to start. And the devs have started to care less and less about EU and NA since the servers are already dead. So go revive the game, please. Please, it's too good to die out. Number seven, Nomad. Imagine Rust with Unturned, and that's exactly what this is. People clearly love this game though. One guy even said, game is garbage and all it is is spawn camping cheaters. Didn't even get five minutes into the game without an fucking hacker at the safe zone. Now either there were two people named and and hacking in the safe zone, or there was actually a hacker. But considering it's genuinely a pretty good game where you just go around raiding people, gathering supplies, shooting others, and making bases, it's definitely worth its non-existent price tag. Number 6, Dead Frontier 2. Now this is a sick game, with beautiful graphics, but like a lot of free games, it has its issues, and I'm not just gonna ignore them. A pretty ass user interface if I'm being honest, and an end game which just doesn't feel very rewarding. But it's still in development and has a long way to go, so as far as zombie survival games go, it's definitely up there with the most promising ones, since it does a lot of things right. The bosses are pretty good, it has an interesting leveling system, and obviously pretty great gunplay. But it is one of those games which will be 500% better with friends, so I'm not gonna play it. Number 5, Muck. Listen, I love Danny, okay, but I was so close to not including Muck, purely because it was never meant to be good, or at least not this good, and it hurts me that it genuinely is a fucking sick game. It's a roguelike survival game with building, resource hoarding, and simply stunning next level graphics, and genuinely impressive combat. One of my Steam friends has over 130 hours on Muck, and honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. You can sink a lot of time into this game for sure. And while you're playing, you can also just go watch the game be made. So I guess there's that. But if you can ignore the graphics and just enjoy everything else, then it's definitely worth giving it a go. Number four, Zera Survival. I actually created a video on this one recently and um, it, it was interesting. The graphics aren't great, but everything else is pretty good. The PvP is almost the entire appeal of the game, so yeah, it kind of is filled with sweaty gamers, but that's a part of the fun. It's pretty similar to Rust in the way that you can loot houses for guns, ammo, medical supplies, and farm trees and other things to build yourself a base to operate out of, but the developers have actually made it so that building a base is almost impossible on popular servers, so your best bet is probably to just store your best items in the vault, which you can use to essentially transfer your items from server to server and also keep it safe while you're offline. It's kind of broken but is a pretty cool system but just doesn't feel as rewarding or risky as keeping everything in a base that anyone could just raid at any time. Like when playing Rust, one of my favorite feelings in the entire world is logging on in the morning to see if a 12 year old Russian kid has robbed me of my entire net worth. Also yeah, Zera focuses heavily on PvP but there are also these extremely ugly robots called Zoids and they scared the shit out of me the first time I saw them but they're 
they're the only PvE mod in the entire game, so that's that. Number three, Will to Live Online. A game that probably wouldn't have made the list if it wasn't for the reviews, because it is a pretty well-loved game. But there's an obvious issue with it, and that's the insanely long grind. But it is also pretty addictive, and has so much content you could play it for hundreds of hours, and I'm sure some people watching this video have actually done that. And you know what? Shame on you. But for a free survival game, Will to Live is probably one of the best ones you will ever come across. It has some minor crash issues and obvious bugs, but for the most part, it's just a good game with a lot of similarities to a stalker game. So if you need a survival game to get unhealthily addicted to for a couple weeks, this is probably your best bet. Oh, and the graphics are pretty good too, especially on the weapons. That seems to be a big focus here. Anyways, obviously you have your regular hunger, thirst, and monsters, but you can also customize your weapons and even paint them, which is something I've never seen before. If you want to see me make a video on this game, then let me know and maybe I can make something happen. Number two, The Cycle Frontier. One of the more recently released survivor games in this list as it literally only came out sometime... When did it come out? In June. It came out in June. But it already has over 40k reviews and most of them are actually positive. This game is like a sci-fi version of Escape from Tarkov and focuses a lot on intense fights where you're literally shitting yourself half the time. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. So you just kind of had to get used to it. I think most people that play this game either absolutely love it since it's obviously free or they just get too frustrated and quit. It's genuinely a good game but sometimes deaths feel undeserving or just pointless. Like dying after a long and intense fight is okay, but dying repeatedly to something like full damage or just being completely outclassed equipment wise is never fun. But the game seems to be going in a positive direction. So if you can just ignore the bad quality of life quirks, then you'll probably have fun considering the developers seem committed to making the game actually better with every new season that comes out. So yeah, I'm not going to shit on the game totally since it is relatively new. People just need to give it a chance and wait for some more quality quality of life things to come through, and maybe some gameplay improvements too before judging it fully. Number one, Unturned. By far the best and most popular game on this list, and I couldn't put it anywhere else but number one. It's, it's a masterpiece, okay? Yes, the graphics aren't insanely beautiful, but that doesn't matter in this case. Unturned is the perfect example of a free survival game. It's all about foraging, resource hoarding, hunting, fishing, farming, surviving, everything. The game has tons of different weapons and ways to play it. You can role play with other players, raid enemies, steal loot, and just do a whole bunch of different shit. There are a ton of different worlds to explore from Germany to Hawaii and some community created ones too. Unturned also has almost 500,000 reviews on Steam, so it's definitely one of the best games out there. And my favorite thing is, even the developers said themselves that this game was pretty much made for modding, so it's essentially limitless. I've seen a pretty disappointing amount of people with over 1,000 hours in Unturned, which is quite worrying, but that shows you how much people love the game. And that's it. If you want me to do a list with more console games, then let me know with a comment.